Hi and welcome back to Functional Scala. Today we'll have a look at lazy evaluation. Many programming languages support lazy evaluation. This means that the value are not computed until they are needed. In contrast with strict or eager evaluation which computes values as soon as possible. Lazy evaluation can also be used to resolve circular dependencies. Scala supports lazy evaluation as well. You can declare a lazy val in Scala by using the keyword lazy. Let us quickly move to Scala shell or Ripple to have a look at a couple of examples. Here I will declare a new val e but before assigning any value I will print evaluating and then I will assign a value 9. Now when I hit enter you can observe that Scala has immediate, immediately evaluated the expression. Now let us play around with lazy val in similar fashion. Again I will declare a value L and assign it a value while printing a statement. When I hit enter you can observe that Scala has not printed evaluating. Rather, Scala has informed us that it's a lazy expression. However, now, if I try to access the value of L, you can observe that Scala has indeed evaluated the expression. Now, let us code the similar example while instantiating a class. First, to de first, I will declare a class eager and declare a val e. I will print evaluating before assigning any value to e. Again, on the similar lines, I will declare another class lazy and declare a lazy val l. Again, I will print evaluating before assigning any value to l. Let us load these classes in Scala shell. First, I will instantiate the class eager and you can observe that Scala has immediately evaluated expression and assigned a value to e. Let me do the same for class lazy and you can observe that Scala has not evaluated the expression. However, if I try to access the value of l, you can observe that Scala will evaluate the expression. This has the advantage that work is not done until it is needed and may not be done at all if the expression is not used. We can defer all the heavy operations until they are required. However, lazy evaluation has a drawback that performance may not be predictable because you cannot say exactly when the value is going to be evaluated. Now let us move back to our slides to explore more of Scala lazy support. Many languages only support strict evaluation, for example Java, while others are purely lazy, for example Haskell. Scala lets you choose between the both. Scala support call by value or strict evaluation and call by name or lazy evaluation. The slide shows two method signatures. Method 1 would evaluate expression before calling before the call whereas method 2 would pass the expression and leave it to be lazily evaluated. Let us see this example in action. I will declare both method 1 and method 2. In the body of the method I will print the method name and then I will print incoming parameter. Next I will declare a function add that takes in two parameters and print add number before adding the input.
Now, let me pass this function add with two input parameters to method 1. And you can observe that Scala has evaluated the expression even before entering the body of the method. Let me do the same for method 2. And now, you can see that Scala has not evaluated add expression until it is required to print the result. Thus, only evaluating the expression when required. Apart from being efficient, lazy evaluation means that you can do things like writing a function to compute infinite series. Deferring computation makes it possible to deal with streams of data whose size is not known. A lazy sequence is one where we know the current value and how to get to the next one, but we don't know until when we have to iterate or the final size of the list. Scala implements lazy sequence as streams, which are lists that are lazily evaluated. A stream is nothing but a series of cons cell. A con cell has two parts, the current value and a reference to the cons cell describing the next value. You can retrieve the current value and follow the reference for the next one. Let us move to Scala shell to observe streams in action. In order to use streams, we have to first import stream.cons. Next, we'll declare a function add stream that takes in an int. In add stream, we create an instance of cons that will store the current value and a reference to the next value. Let us declare a new val positive integers that would call our method add stream with initial value of zero. Add stream would evaluate the current value as zero and pass the next value as one. Streams are often used with functions take and drop. Take would take in the next set of values while drop would ignore those values. Let us use our positive integers stream to print initial five values using for each loop. And here is the output. So that is all about lazy evaluation in Scala. Today, we had a look at how we can ask Scala to defer the evaluation and pass around lazy expression. We also looked at lazy sequence, that is streams. Hope you have enjoyed this lazy session on Scala. See you next time. Thanks for watching. Please post your comments and suggestions.